okay. I think we're okay. Oh my god, those poor people! How are you holding up, honey? I wanna go home. I know, sweetheart. Me too. We'll be fine. I promise. He's going to bring the tower down! It'll hold. It's got to. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances. We're lucky that chopper didn't kill us all. <laughs> I don't feel so lucky. We need to get off, need to get off the tower before the raptors break. The emergency ladder's right there. The way the tower is tilting, it will put us down, 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 outside. Well, that's a start. The fence isn't much of an obstacle for the raptors. Where do we go once we're out? I think we can make it to the utility tunnels right over there. We can lock the raptors out if we can beat them inside. I hope you're right. Let's get that ladder lowered. Won't budge. Did you try the latch? The latch, right, of course. That should free it up. so it might still be a little stiff. Maybe if you put more weight on it? What, you mean stand on it? Yes, ride it down. Okay, but we should probably be ready to move as soon as it comes down so we can stick together. Sweetheart, listen, I want you to be ready to climb down the ladder as soon as it's extended. Okay, Dad. Dr. Sorkin. I'll be right down. Uh, it's really stuck. Oh, no, I see the problem. The whole ladder is just slightly bent. It can't slide freely. We might be able to force it. it must have been the crash. It looks that way. I think we're gonna need a crowbar or something to get it open. Oh, well then we're gonna have to get creative because there are no tools up here. Others are okay? Maybe, sweetheart. But well, we shouldn't get our hopes up. The others need our help. We can't help anyone with those raptors after us. This antenna could be just the thing we need to pry the ladder open. But if I try to grab it now, I could get electrocuted.
Dr. Sorkin, that antenna is the only thing up here I've seen that we can use to pry the ladder open. Is there any way to turn the power to those lights off so I can grab it? Not from up here. The aircraft alert beacons aren't ever supposed to be disabled. The best I can do is make them flash on and off. How? I can switch them from nighttime to daytime operation. They shine continuously at night, but during the day they flash to provide more contrast. Switch the beacon lights to daytime mode. Hopefully that wire won't be live while the lights flash off. <clears throat> Got it. If I couldn't move it by jumping on it, I'm never gonna be able to try it by myself. Dr. Sorkin? Yes? Can you give me a hand with this? You pry while I put my weight on the ladder. Certainly. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, I'm ready. Jess, honey, you get ready to move as soon as the ladder goes down. I'm ready, Dad. Just hurry. Okay, Dr. Sorkin, on three. Ready? One, two, three! Be freaking kidding me! Dad, what are we gonna do? Try again! On three! Ready? One! Two! Three! No! Just wait! No! Goodbye, Dad! Your turn, Dr. Sorkin. I, I'm coming down. Dr. Sorkin, you have to hurry! Out of the way! I'm gonna jump for it! Okay, now up and over! Run, Dr. Sorkin! Next time I get a headache like this, there better be tequila involved. No way, amigo. This turned out better than the last time you drank tequila. Yeah, you might be right. The girl I woke up next to is prettier anyway. <laughs> so, we lost our ride, and the only person we managed to rescue so far doesn't even work for InGen. Now what? See if you can find anything useful in the wreck. And make sure the girl's okay while I scout the perimeter. Ah, damn it. I left my AK inside the chopper. It's probably toast. Glad I didn't leave a round chambered. Could have killed someone. That makes two of us, amigo. Still, the cook-off was a hell of a show. Take more than an auxiliary power unit to fix her this time. Better keep checking her out. If she's gonna blow, we don't want to be anywhere nearby. Damn it. All our weapons were in there. I was just getting used to that AK, too. Looking pretty safe. One more look, just to be sure. <sighs> no 
no fuel left. Must have been a hell of a blast. That chopper's done all the exploding she's ever gonna do. Should be safe to make camp here. I should see if the girl's okay. Oscar might want to talk to her when she wakes up. Let's postpone pwn that little re- just like this back in San Jose. Oh man, I hope it's not for her face. Heavier than I remember. Could just be full, I guess. It's only sloshing at the top. Sounds half empty, feels full. Why is that? My stepbrother used to store his second set of keys in a fake pop can. I wonder. A lady has a secret stash, but what the hell is it? T-Rex, been sleeping. Damn it, Oscar. I only have one pair of pants. The chopper's not gonna blow, but just about everything in it, including our weapons, is flame broiled. No game trails, no nests. This is base camp for now. Hey, get this. I found this can of shaving cream in her pack. Didn't think you needed any. Yeah, whatever you say, fuzzy. Except it's not really shaving cream. Look. Hmm. So, now what's the plan? That shaving cream can looks like some real CIA stuff. What do you think she's up to? Ask her when I ain't around. If she won't tell you, I'll make her talk my way. Are we gonna try to salvage this gig? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for our friends. Uh, shouldn't I come with? We lost the guns. Means I gotta be in stealth mode. <laughs> you saying I can't sneak? I'm saying neither one of us can sneak and watch her at the same time. Besides, she won't talk with me around. But maybe pretty boy Billy can get her to open up. Yeah, it's a tough job.
smart. Smart. Looking for this? That's mine! You know, this takes me back. I learned to shave with this stuff. Give it back! Now! I'm all out of shaving cream myself. You mind if I borrow some? Stop shaking it! But you're supposed to shake it before you use it. Says so right on the can. You want to tell me what's so important about shaving cream? Or do I ask InGen? Dinosaur embryos. If you drop them, they'll be destroyed. Embryos, huh? Wow. I knew you were up to something, but this, this is pretty clever, I gotta admit. InGen's gonna love me for bringing this back. Talk about a bonus. Look, Yoder. Billy, right? Maybe we can make a deal. This ought to be good. Shoot. There's a lot of money in it for you if I get those embryos to my contact before they go bad. How much does Injun pay you to risk your life? How long before they replace you after you lose a leg or break your back and can no longer jump out of helicopters for hey, them? Don't you worry about it. I get paid plenty to do what I do. You turn that over to Injun. You get a pat on the back. Maybe a little Christmas bonus. You leave it to me, you become a rich man. Pay off your debts, quit your job. No more guys in suits telling you what to do. Just think about it. Okay, keep talking. Please, I don't expect you to trust me, but the right thing to do is to give it back to me and let me go. I have a daughter. I need the money to get her out of the ghetto. You know what happens to girls there. She doesn't deserve that life. Are you for real? Come on, Billy. The money's good. And you'll be helping me save my daughter. Everybody gets a little something. Okay, here's the deal. One, I'm in charge. I keep the embryos. And as soon as it's safe to break away, we'll deliver them to your contact. I don't know if the embryos will last in there much longer. That's a risk we're gonna take. Two, we're cutting Oscar in. Why? Because he's my partner, that's why. It'll be fine. Trust me. Now sit tight and lighten up. Not every woman gets to enjoy the sunset on a tropical island with Billy Yoder. So, any idea where we are in relation to the rest of the park? We're not far from the marine exhibit. I know for a fact that the phone there is in working order, or at least it was this morning. Can we get there from the tunnels? I believe so. All right then, lead the way. I want to get us out of here as soon as possible. No more science projects, okay? I understand. Don't worry, Jess. We should be safe in here. Where do all these doors lead? The maintenance corridors. 
The park's essential systems are in there. Uh, electrical, water, air conditioning, you know, that sort of thing. The tunnels on this side are for transporting animals, personnel, and food. That's why they're so big. They are separate from the maintenance side to prevent accidents. So, Laura, I've been meaning to ask you, why don't you do your radio show anymore? You had a radio show? Well, it wasn't really radio. I'd hack into the park intercom and play choice cuts from my record collection. Lately, I haven't had the time. Did you really have to show Artie Bridges how to do it? Believe me, I regret it. But how was I to know how bad he was? He begged me, said it was his dream to be in radio. You know what, he should stick to managing the janitorial group. He is awful. He's awful. He certainly is. I guess there was a reason it was just a dream. He actually records his show ahead of time so that he can broadcast during work hours. Did you guys hear that? Sounded like a rat. Mm-hmm. Dinosaurs aren't the only invasive species InGen brought to the island. There are lots of rats in these tunnels. Maintenance is always setting traps down here. Are you sure we shouldn't head to the visitor center, Dr. Sorkin? InGen is bound to start there when they don't hear from the rescue team. These tunnels don't run all the way to the visitor center, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather not risk any more overland travel. Good point. Well, as long as we're getting to know one another, how is it that Dr. Wu became chief geneticist over you? That's an easy one. Frogs. You're saying frogs kept you from getting promoted? Specifically, their DNA. Before we could clone any dinosaurs, we had to decide how to fill in the gaps in the DNA sequences we found. I remember this from the tour. You found dino blood inside mosquito fossils, right? That's right. I wanted a complete prehistoric genome, cross-referencing all of the DNA found in the various amber samples. It would have been safer, but would have taken time the board of directors didn't want to spend. Well, even Dr. Hammond's spare-no-expense philosophy has limits, I guess. Exactly. Henry, Dr. Wu, proposed using frog DNA to fill in the gaps. It was risky. We still don't know all of the effects. But it was a solution, and a fast one at that. So Henry became chief geneticist, and I took to the field. Has anyone seen my cigarettes? I could swear I had some. I didn't realize you smoked. Normally I manage to duck out a few times a day, but we've been preoccupied. Where did you last have them? Right here in my pocket, or so I thought. Maybe they fell out when we jumped from the water tower? I suppose. Oh well, I'm probably better off without them. Do you mind if we stop for a rest? My legs are killing me. I suppose we could all use a break. I don't know how much longer those embryos will last. We need to meet my contact at the boat. We're staying here until Oscar gets back. We don't even know if he's alive. Oscar's fine. He's coming back. And come hell or high water, we are not leaving. Then again, maybe you have a point. Come on, we gotta run! No time, hide!
Care for a lysine supplement? No thanks. Well, you know what? Actually, you know what? Maybe I will. All this running around, my muscles probably need whatever protein I can give them. My thoughts exactly. I haven't gotten this much exercise since Carnival. I guess we've got a lot of extra lysine now that the parasaurs don't need the external supply. Yeah, uh, about that. It's not just the parasaurs. We added the antidote to the main water supply. But that'll reach every dinosaur in the park. The lysine contingency... You're insane! Denying the dinosaurs lysine was the only safety mechanism we had to keep them out of the global ecosystem! These animals are now part of the global ecosystem, whether we like it or not. We can't expect them to exist outside of it. There's not an environment on Earth, including this one, that can maintain equilibrium with, with these animals around. Invasive species, it, it doesn't even begin to describe the problem. We've already denied them the right to breed. That's their death sentence. Yes, but who knows how much damage they can do before then. A single brachiosaur can destroy as much jungle in one day as a whole herd of elephants. I can imagine the impact a group of them would have on a rainforest. Do I need to remind you that there are 120 miles of ocean between Isla Nublar and the mainland? The Lysine contingency was cruel and unnecessary. Tell me this. Did you reverse the Lysine contingency with the Pteranodons? No. My formula targets superorder dinosauria exclusively. If I tried to account for the pteranodons, I might have affected other reptiles. Oh, at least there's that. Now that I think about it, though, targeting only pteranodons, or any one species, would be a simple change. I wouldn't even need a full lab. Am I gonna have to ask Jess to follow you into the ladies' room? It won't come to that. If I decide to do it, I won't sneak around, and I won't involve you. I'm sorry if the way I went about it last time upset you. Well, thanks for the apology, I guess, but this isn't about me. Yes, the ocean provides a natural barrier, but how can you guarantee InGen won't move some of these dinosaurs to a less isolated place? Look, I'll tell InGen all about this when we get off the island. They can make an informed decision about if and where they want to move any dinosaurs. Do you know for a fact that none of these animals can swim? Oh, come on, Jerry. Uh, it's how Asian elephants migrated to Sri Lanka from India. There's precedent. You're being ridiculous. There's no evidence sauropods were swimmers. None. You see them in the field every day. Have you ever even seen one of our dinosaurs try to swim? We keep them in cages, Laura. They don't get the chance. I know this, more quadrupeds can swim than can't. All right, I'll concede that it's possible there are sauropods that can swim. But I still believe that 120 miles of open water is an effective barrier. The remote possibility that a dinosaur could make it to the mainland is far outweighed by our responsibility to treat these animals humanely. They're here because of us. I don't want to see these animals die. I really don't. But we all agreed to the Lysine contingency. It was a prerequisite to working here. For you, maybe. But you have to remember, Jerry, I was here before there even was a Lysine contingency. It's a kill switch! The Lysine contingency was intended to be the last resort. InGen hasn't even tried to fix this. No matter the circumstance, you can't possibly believe it's okay to eradicate an entire species, let alone whole groups of them. Regardless of how they came to be here, no one has that right. Even if every dinosaur on the island were to die, Site B is still active. We could clone them again. What you did was reckless. I'm sorry, Jerry, but that's naive. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to clone even one dinosaur? The board won't let Hammond throw money at a pipe dream. 
Well, normally, I'd agree with you. No one has the right to kill an entire species. But surely you recognize that this is a special case. We are responsible. Yes, we are responsible. Not just for our own welfare, but for the animals as well. I, I don't know, Laura. I, I, I don't know. I need to process this. I I'm gonna have to tell InGen. I understand. Are you guys done yet? Jess, where'd you go? Just down the hall, looking at stuff. Not that you noticed, I was gone. I'm sorry, honey, I was distracted, but don't go off again like that, okay? Yeah, okay. 